Hey guys, this is Paul from Smart Easy DIY. Today I wanted to show you how I set posts for a pole barn all by myself and how you can too if you follow the methods that I use. Now I have to warn you, this is a little bit of a lengthy video, but if you watch it all the way through, hopefully it'll help you and give you ideas how you can set posts by yourself. So then before you get all set up and put the posts in the hole like I'm doing here, first thing you want to do is make sure that your hole is going to work. So I set a string up, stretch it really nice and tight along whatever side I'm setting and you want to check your post hole, make sure that it's going to work. Make sure you have room in there to put your post right where it needs to go for center. And in my case, the posts are 10 foot on center. That's how I measure off the last post to see for sure if it's going to work. And I use like three quarter crush gravel like that. In the bottom, I pack it down in the hole very good with a plate tamper. Just pack it down really well and then that'll hold it good when it's getting ready for concrete. What I do is I get 10 foot 2x4s and they usually run a little bit longer than 10 foot. So I'll mark them out but I'll show you here. See as you can see there, they're about a quarter inch longer. So I make one end perfectly even with the center of the post, the previous post like this I'm showing you here, and then I just overlap it a little bit, and then I run one under and one over as I go on down through there. So first thing I do is get a screw in that end to get it ready, and then I prep this other end over here with another screw. As you can see, I stay in from the end a little, and then I make a mark measuring from the other end, right on 10 foot with that. And then I get my setup here, got some screws, screw gun, level, tape measure. Then I got this two by here that's for my prop 2x, that's actually the first 2x that I put on when I bring the post over. So you want to stay back from the end there and put a screw in that. Don't put any in the other end, just let that be how it is. Just have that ready to go and you can see how I brace those all on the inside, those other posts going down the row there. That's how I'm going to do here once I'm all done. So the idea is just to have that ready, temporarily hold the post up for me. So then if your string is all ready and everything, then you're all set, ready to set your post. Now the corner posts are a little bit of a tricky thing. You have to get them set first. I'm just showing you some posts down the row here because it's easier for me to show it that way. But the corner post is the trickiest because you got to get it perfect braced both ways. You can see that one is braced inside and out. The other one's braced to the outside one away. It's just because of getting the cement truck in there. That was the easiest way for me to brace it. So you have to think about getting cement in there and that'll determine how you brace it, what direction. So you just get the post in the hole there. Try not to knock any dirt in if at all possible. You usually get a little bit. Then what I do is just grab the post Pick it up a few times, make sure it's settled down really good. You just kind of eyeball it and get it as close to the string as you can. So of course you can't let go of the post there as you can see because it just wants to fall over. And so the next thing, I have a screw gun with a belt clip on it. That helps it really nice. It can hang on my pants. Then that way I don't have to reach down and grab it afterwards. So then what I do is I just put a screw in by hand screw it in a little bit that way I don't have to hold it and then the screw gun can just drive it on in. And all this screw is for is to hold the brace so it doesn't fall down as I'm fastening it. You can see it's a little bit tricky. This is when you get your hands really full. So then that brace there, since I already have a screw started in it, I just screw it right into that post. And that screw I put in before just holds it from falling, like I said. And then that two by works really good for twisting it to make it square with the string and stuff. And just kind of gives you a lot more control of the post. And then that just jammed into the ground like that on the other end. That actually holds that post really pretty well. If it doesn't, you can always go back and push it a little bit, but now you've got a lot more control over the post that you did to start with. So then here's where you really need about five hands, but it's doable to do it by yourself. I've done it many times, so that's what I'm showing you. So that's where it's nice, where you can just set your two by back there on top of the previous one. So that holds that end. If you're doing it underneath, you can uh, put a screw under there about four inches under that last two by, and then that'll be your support if you're underneath there. So then the only reason I use a level for this is because I like to have it pretty much level. It's not critical, but that way your measurement is a lot closer to being accurate, your 10 foot spacing measurement. So then I just put that baby right on the mark and screw it in right there. And then you can see the post moved a little bit when I push back on it, but that brace holds it pretty well. And now that that's fastened, you just kind of check it again to make sure it's pretty square. That kind of holds it, but it might be a good idea to hang onto that two by as you're walking over to the other side. And then you can just put that right in the center there and screw it in. Then when you're all done, of course, you recheck that measurement, but now you just go back over and that thing is held pretty well. So then here's now where you can have your bar handy and you can pry it back and forth. You can kind of tell pretty easily looking at it which way it's got to go, but you can check with the level then too. But that's where you start prying off the edge and then you just start checking it and you repeat this process quite a few times. Just take a little bit at a time, then you measure to make sure that your mark is dead on. And in my case, it was right on. I measured back from the end of the building too, just to confirm it. Then use that brace post there that I used that brace to buy and 
Use that to twist it straight. You want to make sure it's nice and square with the string so you can move it around with that because you got lots of leverage. And then what I'm saying here is today is my birthday, by the way, when I'm setting this is August. So it was my birthday and what better thing to do than to set posts on your birthday. But anyway, so yeah, you just check it a number of times, check it for in and out, check it for sideways. Then you just use the bar and pry it a little bit at a time till you get it where you want it. And if you take it a little too far, you know, there's no shame in that. You just take it back a little bit. Then when you got it good, I like to put a two by down there. Just keep it up off a little because you don't want to move it again when the cement truck comes. You want to have a little room to work. So I put that two by on there and then that braces it really well for that way. Then for this way, once you make sure that it's square, then you pound a stake in like that and then you can come back and double check it. And then if you got it right against the string where you want it and it's level, then what I do is I hold it, put tension on it, and then I drive a screw through the stake down there and hopefully it holds it right where it was. So it's a little trial and error when you're doing it by yourself. You got to come back and check it a few times. Double check it a few times. If you have to, you can take this loose on the top part here. And then I would recommend taking the screw right out and starting a new hole because if you only got to go a little bit, it'll want to put it right back in the same hole and it won't want to move. Then I use a clamp like that and it works really good to hold that level on there. I could do this from the start, but it's just something that I learned. That way it's kind of hands-free. You can keep the level there. And then once you're all ready, then you just want to put another two by on the bottom like that to brace it really good. Most people don't do this, but I like to do it just because when you pour cement in there, you don't want that thing to move at all. So anyways, all right. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and let me know how you did setting your own posts and maybe give me some of your ideas too. And thanks for watching guys.